This is a crypto emergency videos as cryptocurrencies have gone down. Again, we've seen Ethereum go down just about 10% today. What is happening in the crypto market? Because cryptos have taken a pretty big hit the last couple of days. Are cryptos done with? Is this bear market going to continue where cryptos just continue to crash every single week? Well, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the entire crypto market. We're going to be taking a look at everything. I'm going to be explaining to you what is happening right now. So make sure you guys watch this video until the very end. It is extremely important if you hold any cryptocurrency. Now, if you guys love these quick, short, get to the point emergency videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up smash the like button like you've never smashed it before let's try to get the likes up to 1000 likes and let me know in the comments below are you guys buying some of these dips or are you guys just going to wait out this volatility because things are getting crazy now first thing is first let's go ahead and take a look at the crypto market so we see bitcoin down 1.62 percent the last seven days only down four percent look at this ethereum down eight percent today we have bounced up already and down 12 percent the last seven days if we take a look at other cryptocurrencies cardano this coin is holding up really well during this bearish market there's not many coins that are holding up really well compared to like Bitcoin and Cardano. Um, and the reason why Ethereum is going down substantially today is a couple of things that we are going to be talking about. So the entire crypto market is down the last 24 hours, about 3%. The entire crypto market, guys, look at this. $1.15 trillion. A trillion, a trillion dollars has left the crypto market. And just the last couple of months, we've seen a huge correction in the crypto market. And that is because stocks have crashed. Inflation is going up really fast, guys. Yesterday, make sure you watch my video. I explain exactly why cryptos and stocks went down. And I was warning you all because of the CPI, how it could, how it's going to cause most likely a lot of volatility. So there's going to be more volatility coming this week. There are some more catalysts coming this week, which in my video yesterday, I explained perfectly what that is. But basically, there's going to be another Fed meeting where they're going to be talking about the high interest rates. They're going to be talk. They're going to be talking about the high inflation numbers from this past Friday. And what they're going to probably talk about is they're going to talk about raising interest rates. They're going to talk about consumer sentiment, which is down since 40 years. It's the highest level since the last 40 years when there was another recession just some time ago. So there's a lot of bearish things that are happening in the economy in this country and around the world. And that is adversely affecting for the short term, the immediate short term cryptos and stocks. I do personally believe that cryptos eventually, despite stocks continuing to go down, will break away from being coupled from the stock market, that they will break away from their dependency and following the stock market, traditional markets. And eventually there's going to be a point in time where this will happen, where in my opinion, it's just not financial advice, that cryptos will decouple from the stock market and they will go up while everything is going down because global economies are collapsing. Dollars around the world and other countries are collapsing at a very fast rate and people need a safe place to put money. They need a safe place other than gold or silver or certain assets to put their money so that they can actually use this to spend on things uh, to hold a monetary value that they can immediately liquidate if needed. And that is going to be cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and some of the really strong cryptocurrency projects. But let me get into why cryptos have taken a dip other than, of course, the high inflation reading, which push cryptos down and stocks down yesterday. So one of the things that's happening today is we have seen Ethereum take a pretty big nosedive. And let me show you Ethereum. So this is Ethereum. Let me go ahead and take off some of these moving averages, some of these indicators here. So this is Ethereum right here. And if we take a look at the four hour time frame, we see a massive, guys, a massive dip for Ethereum where Ethereum touched all the way to about $1,500, actually touched 14, depending on what exchange you are looking at. So we've seen a massive dip, but look at this, look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not really seeing that type of a dip. Bitcoin, if we look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart where it's Ethereum versus Bitcoin, we can see how bearish Ethereum is compared to Bitcoin when generally the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart is very bullish where Ethereum is always outperforming Bitcoin, but it's not happening right now because we are in a bear market among other things things and people are selling off their altcoins and buying Bitcoin. They're getting into more stable assets and cryptocurrencies. Now, there's a couple of reasons why this is happening. Now, there is a lot of market manipulation taking place because of the Ethereum merge. So the whales are going to try to drop Ethereum as much as possible before this merge takes place because it's going to be a huge bullish catalyst 
for Ethereum and the entire crypto market. And a lot of miners are pissed off that they are going to be cut out. Their business is going to be cut out, cut out completely because Ethereum is switching to proof of stake. So there's a lot of miners are going to be dumping Ethereum, trying to do everything they can to shut down Ethereum, bring it down, which of course, of course they're not going to do any, they're not going to be able to do anything about it. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons, but here is something very important that happened today. So Ethereum, as you know, there is a staking pool in Ethereum and there is a staking pool where there's all of this money staked in Ethereum, where you are able to stake your Ethereum ahead of the whole merge and you're able to receive rewards. And what they give you is this ETH, the staked ETH token when you give your Ethereum to them. Now, the staked ETH token is actually pegged and backed by Ethereum. And what we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is a potential de-pegging from Ethereum. So the peg is not one Ethereum for one staked Ethereum. It's actually getting under. It was like 0.97 earlier today, um, but it is not one for one. So people are panicking and freaking out like Luna was de-pegged. I don't think that's going to happen, but some people are saying that the de-pegging could be a 50% de-pegging. So this is bad. So this is causing FUD. This is calling sell-offs, causing sell-offs. Um, and this is certainly not a very bullish catalyst for Ethereum right now, but it's honestly just FUD. It's honestly just FUD and people trying to shake Ethereum down as much as possible. Whales and people are going to try to manipulate prices, guys, to bring them down so that they can get them as cheap as possible. That's what's happening right now is just pure market manipulation in the crypto market. That's what's happening. It's all pure market manipulation at this point. And the Ethereum merge is going to be huge, guys. This is going to be a huge catalyst to push up not only Ethereum, but the entire crypto market. I'm super excited about Ethereum. It's one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. And that's kind of what's happening. That's why we saw this sell off today, guys. That's why we are seeing what we are seeing now. And if we get back into the charts, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have some good news. So yes, Ethereum and some altcoins went down quite heavily. And look at this, Bitcoin is still holding up. Look at this, Bitcoin is still almost $30,000. It's $28,600. And there was a crazy sell-off today, guys. We were selling off for hours and hours and hours. It was not stopping. We are finally getting a bounce right now, which is very likely. This bounce is very likely because this is bounce structure. But guys, we could continue to crash down any further. But as of right now, I feel like this today, at least, that this is probably going to be the, the bounce move here, that this is going to be the bounce structure to allow us to get somewhat of a relief bounce and then a consolidation. But since the stock market and cryptos have crashed these last couple of days quite heavily, the stock market took a huge dip, guys, yesterday. Uh, because that has happened, we might see some relief, a little bit of green um, coming into Sunday night when the futures market opens up and also leading into Monday. We might get that bounce or it will probably happen either Tuesday. I do expect sell-offs and crashes potentially on Wednesday. So just be prepared for that. If they start speaking in a hawkish or bearish manner, get ready because there is going to be some crashes and drops. But eventually, the crashes and drops are going to stop because all of this stuff that's happening right now is temporary. It's not happening forever. No, no, it's going to be fixed. There's going to be things that are going to be fixed. Inflation will go down eventually at some point. And when that happens, that's, that's when the bull market for stocks is going to start and also for the crypto market. So we could be trading sideways for the next couple of months, maybe a month. Um, but I do believe that sometime here soon, that cryptos will de-peg or decouple from the stock market. When the stock market continues to go down, cryptos will go up at some point, probably this year. This could certainly happen. Let me know if you guys agree with that in the comments below. Now, if you guys want to get access to the most profitable trading community for cryptocurrencies, go ahead and join the Patreon right now. It's only $10 a month. You get access to all these buy alerts and my constant updates. But if you want to speak to me on the phone and copy all of my exact trades, join tier three. And if you guys want to learn technical analysis so you can learn what to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, go ahead and watch my course at milesinvestments.com. It will pay for itself because you will be able to learn what to buy and to sell. You'll be able to learn what to sell before things drop. You'll be able to learn when to buy before things go up. Huge and important things that you need to know in this crypto market is for all skill levels. And make sure you guys claim your $4,000 to pause deposit bonus over on Bybit. It's the best crypto trading platform out there, the cheapest fees. And if you send crypto over there, you get over a you get up to a four thousand dollar deposit bonus, guys. Highly recommend checking out. It's free money if you deposit money over there. Highly recommend it. Now that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you guys later. 
Just chill, just relax. The market is in a correction. This happens all the time in cryptos. Cryptos don't go up every single month. They don't go up all the time. They are There are periods or times where things crash and go down. And guess what? They always recover. They have always recovered up to now. So that's going to be it, guys. I will see you all later.